I welcome you. Uh, I just say, wow, you're a lot of people. You are. And I hope that I will inspire you today to do the most of your wishes and dreams that you have in life. So let's begin. Live, enjoy, and let go. That's been a kind of a mantra for, my, for me. And this means live your life with a curious mind and the rest will follow. I like to take the good, I, li I like to take good care of all the opportunities and the possibilities and the people that I meet on my path in life. Because one thing leads to another. And this is really important for me to take care of these moments. I like to enjoy life as much as I can every day, every minute. It's kind of cliche, but I think it works pretty well. And let go, it stands for let go of all the things in your life that's not good for you, that's keeping your back from doing the things that you want. So live, enjoy, and let go, and repeat every day. So who am I? I'm nobody to many. I might be a wannabe to many, but I'm, I'm definitely somebody special to the people that counts in my life, like myself, my family, and my friends, which I see some here. Thank you for being here. Uh, and that is important for me today, because it's here I live, and it's here I create, and it's here I make my life happen every day. So I also have two backyards. So if you live in a flat, you need a virtual place to be. So I have two backyards. I have backyard vloggers for my professional side in marketing and communication. And I have Lily Ross backyard for the most important stuff in life. You know, motorcycle, what to eat, what restaurants to go to, and destinations to find along the roadside drive. But enough about me. Let's go on. I want to take you back to 2013, because it was here it all started. I finally dared to do my tattoo, after wanting to do this for so many years, and I didn't dare. It was a bit scary, what should I have, ba, 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 you know. And then finally I did it, and I was so proud of myself. I designed it and I put the text on it. And the text is, live, newt, slept. And in English, live, enjoy, and let go. And this is a reminder for me to live my life as good as I can do every day. It also is a start for me. It was the start of something else. I didn't want to postpone things in my life. I don't want to wait until I get older, until finish things, and so on. So I started a wish and dream list where I put up everything I want to do in my life. And that is very important to me. Do you have any idea since 2013 of how many things I might have been doing on my list? Any idea? 20? 50? 100? Yeah, good guess. It's a lot. So how do I get up to 226 things in 10 years? I find a way and I'm going to share that with you today. So when you leave here today, I hope that I inspired you to go for your dreams and your wishes. How to do it? I have a list. I put everything on the, to the list. It's small things, it's big things, it's very expensive things that I might never ever be able to do, or I will. And I put them into a list without ranking them, high and low. And then when I um, have, have done that, I also have that I promised myself to make a promise each year. You could start today and take it one year ahead, or you could do as I have done it since I have 10 years of fine tuning it. I have it like uh, my New Year's promise to myself. That is that I will do 10 things on my list during the year ahead. So I have one promise, I do 10 things in my year ahead. And as you see, I have been doing a lot of more than 10. Uh, it just happens when you get started. So you will be amazed of how many things that you will be able to do once you get started and get the mind to it. And also, 
I check them off. So when I have done something, I have a check off list so I could count and see if I do the promise to myself. And it's really funny because then you can go back and you can see what the things you have been doing. And that inspires you to go ahead and do even more. And that's why you don't end up with 10, you end up with a lot of more. Why do we postpone things in our life? Why do we wait until we are fit? Why do we wait until we have got that job? When we got that family, when the kids grow up, when we have a pension? We are always doing things later. Why? I love this text, this words from Nike that says, yesterday you said tomorrow, just do it. Think of that. Yesterday, I'm going to do it tomorrow. But you said yesterday you're going to do it tomorrow. Just do it. I have a question for you. You all have these, so keep good track of them. We're going to be creative, folks. I told you when you were invited. Think of one thing that you really, really, really want to do in your life and think of why you're not doing that today. What's stopping you? So, how is it possible to do all these things? Am I rich? Am I a superwoman? Do I have rich relatives that support me? No, I'm just ordinary. I just got this thing of thinking of how to make things happen in my life. But there are costs. And as I see, there are three types of costs. You have time. We all have 24 hours. It's how we spend them. And if we want to start with something new, we have to make some space. We have to clean out some other things to get that thing going. If we're going for going to education, we need to have the time. If we're going to start a new sport, we need to give it time. So if we make the time, we get the focus and we get it done. The other thing is money. Oh, everything costs in each way, but money could sometimes be very hard. And money, how I do it is that I don't have the most huge pension plan. plan. I put in some money in a special account that I call my wish and dream account. So I save for myself, and this account is just for picking out and doing things on my list. Then it works pretty, fun, pretty good. Um, so that's my way of saving it up. People, you need to place yourself in a supportive surroundings. Because when you are in a, in a supportive surroundings, people will help you out, they will share for you, they will help you to connect you with other people, and it's going to be a good circle. So put yourself into an environment where people help you out. Or even if they don't like what you're going to do, they at least are supportive. I think that you would be pretty, pretty bored if I was talking about 226 things. You would probably be sleeping and never coming back to creative mornings. So what I did is that I categorized them. And the things that I have been doing is in the categories of experience. I've done a lot of things in experience, and I will soon show you some of them. I have been doing travels. I've been doing travels on and off my motorcycle. I've been visiting destinations, and I've been sharing destinations to the ones that have been following me, so yourself can go and take a coffee in a nice place or enjoy the same things. Things. I bought myself, I mean my fourth motorcycle to be proud because I like motorcycles. Uh, but you know, you want to buy things, smaller things, bigger things, put them on the list, make focus, then you will buy them. People, I have people, I think I'm a people collector. I like people. I like to be in environments where I could be creative and when I get, get supportive and where I also can inspirate other people. So I have put myself into connection with people that I like, or I have met them through Instagram and then met them in real life, mostly by driving by motorcycle. 
eat and drink. I like to explore places where you can go and eat and drink. It could be that I want to go to a restaurant. Then I put it on the list and then I go there to eat and then I check it off and I put it on the checked off part. It could be that simple. Work. I wanted to work with beer. I'm a nerd on micro breweries. And I have had done that. I've been working with beer for a couple of years and it's an awesome thing to work with. And I also wanted to go to marketing and commu communication from a previous working with logistic, customer service and other things. So I moved on. I put my mental thing to going into new areas in work. And I have done that by going to education. And then I also knowledge, because some things is not just about going to education from years. It could be that you want to learn how to climb inside walls. It could be that you want to really know how to stand up on a soup, because that is fucking hard. <laughs> so um, it could be try to learn to ride horses. I mean, it could be anything that you feel that you really, really want to do. Well-being well in body and soul, spas. Is there a better place than putting up going to spas and then check them off that you've been there? Or you want to try a new exercise and you sign up for it and you do it. Culture. Go to a lot of events, concerts, Håkan, say no more. Coldplay, say no more. Bet Hart in Denmark. Say no more. Venisage, I was lately on Abesita, Popkonst and Photo, and I can recommend it in Borås. They have an excellent uh, exhibition with photographers. So I try to go to different galleries and different places to look at things that I like in art and design. Books, I want to buy some books. Right now I'm trying to finish the copy book it's a really nice book, but I've been having a bit of things in my life, but I bought it. I wanted to buy it and I bought it. Movies. Oh, COVID. 007. I mean, you have to wait a very long time to see James Bond. But finally, they open up the movies and you can go there. I'm going to show you some of the things that I've been doing. This is, I'm going to tell you what it said on my list so you get a bit of a mind of how I think. Fly an airplane. Suddenly you see a thing, event on LinkedIn or on Facebook. You can go to Via Red and you can try to fly an airplane. Just like that. I've been having that for years on my list. I wanted to, to, to try to learn how to make sourdough, and I did. And Lotta is here. She's the woman that had a really nice bakery and now make lectures for baking. So I went to her place, and yeah, I really digged in. I wanted to take a beer at Key West. I did. I wanted to go to the Porsche Museum. I told you I'm a bit a nerd of motorcycles and cars and things, so I did. I wanted to go to Numbaya Ring to look on the racetrack. I wanted to take a drink on Cielo rooftop in Bellora. It doesn't cost that much, it takes my time. I wanted to go to Prostens Pizzeria in Falkenberg. I can also recommend Lilla Napoli in Falkenberg. I wanted to buy some bee wax bee, um, clothes because I think they're smart and they are really, they are not so expensive, like 200 crowns, but they're on my list because then I check for them and I find them. I wanted to drive in the Dolomites on my motorcycle. It's a lovely place. And here they also recorded one of the Bond films. I didn't drive that fast. Uh, and I wanted to work with beer and I did. And through this, I also started my backyard to share things with other people. And doing that, I've also been doing a lot of motorcycle tours. And that is one thing I wish to do, guide other people to go out on tours and explore the roads with destinations, places to stay, to eat, and to do things. And one of my tours accidentally ended up in Alto Memse. 
It's hashtag Folkehälsturen. You go around the different breweries with motorcycle and you look out for the places and then you just learn more about beer and you drive to the next place and you buy Folkehäl with you. I also had one that we went to fly tunnel on body flight. It was very fun, all this motorcycle we had um, half, half special, half special at Ovas first and then we went and drove and took a flight in the, in the wind tunnel. And with this one it's a kind of special because this is people. I got this from friends at the brewery called Berium. They found that when they were cleaning out Sutte Kraftstation. It's an old box for bottles and it was a factory making glass and it's called Sutte Liljedal. So they called me and said, hey, we have a box for you, it's your name on it. So I got it, nice people. And what this also said is that you meet people. And this last summer I was driving down to Europe and I met one of the people that I met on Instagram. And he showed me around in Stuttgart and he tagged along to the Porsche and we went to Ritter Sports and bought chocolate. I would never found that these places without him and the other day he drove around with me on my way up to Sweden. So things happen when you connect. Things happen when you open up and you do your dreams and you meet people. And sometimes life happens. Life happens when you at least expect it. And it happened to me in July 26, 2021. Really hard. I had been out on my motorcycle tour. I had been on vacation, driving to Stockholm. I've been having a lovely time. I had been checking off a shitload of things on my list. So I went home, I went repacking, making my laundry and the call come. It was a call from the hospital. It was a call saying, could you be here in two days? Please bring a relative. You start breathing. It's like, whew. Um, before I went on my vacation, I have done mammography. The results has came. I took my aunt with me to the hospital two days later, on the 28th of Ju July 2021. And I got the answer. You have a really nasty breast cancer with metastase. Your treatment with chemo starts next week. They were saying a lot of other things to me. I didn't hear it. I fell so fucking hard down in my own abyss like I was crawling and falling and falling and falling and nothing could put me up to the surface because there was no surface. I was so afraid of dying. I was so afraid of losing the life, losing the time, losing the moments that I could do something with my life. And fuck, I had so much things to do on my list. I can't die now. I mean, the list is full. I want to see my daughter having kids. I want to see my son, I, you know, every thought in mind came to me. And this time, and after this time, the list has become even more precious for me. And during this time, I also was listening to a podcast with Björn Natico. And he has something in where he talks in his latest book, I Can Be Wrong that he says that we live and we die, and during that time, we're in the waiting room to our number to be called out. But to keep it simple, don't postpone your life. Don't postpone your dreams. Don't postpone your wishes. Do them. Do them now, as fast as you can, because tomorrow might not be there. But hey, this is a creative they don't go too deep. I mean, I'm still here and I survived and so many people though do. And this brings me to the next thing. What's on my list now? The biggest thing on my list right now, like a main, like a header, 
is going down to Italy in June. I'm going to take my motorcycle and drive down to Italy. On this tour, I will, do, I will go by myself, by the way. I like to drive my motorcycle um, vacations on my own. Um, I will go down and I have on my list to take a coffee in Roma. So I hope I get the coffee in Roma. And I want to see the Vatican, that's also on the list. I want to go on gondole in Venice. And I want to, nerdy, I know, but all the Porsches and all the nice bikes are on the Hotel Belverde in Furkapass in Switzerland. So I need to go there, take my photo, and then I'm off. So, uh, and, and hopefully I will be driving with some of my friends that I met uh, in Switzerland and in Germany. Um, I've been helping them out when they're here, and they help me out with roads when I'm there. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then I have another thing. I want to drive a 911 GT3 Porsche on a track. So if somebody knows one, let me know. Um, I want to see the Northern Light. I really would like to sleep one night in Jukasjärvi in the Ice Hotel. Um, I also want to go on a Vietnamese restaurant in Gothenburg. So if someone have a tips for that, let me know. Um, what more is on my list? Hmm. Yeah, I have one thing more on my list. I hope that I will be able to do that very soon. And that is to do a lecture about how to inspire people to live their life with a curious mind. I mean, how bad could it be? How scary can it be? I mean, I hope I survive the day I do it. And this brings us to this. Are you ready to be creative? Have you been thinking about the questions? Is it getting scary? It couldn't be worse than I'm standing here, I promise you. I'm going to call out some numbers. And if you feel like, hell no, this is not for me, to just close your eyes really, 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 really hard and you say, this too shall pass. <laughs> and then I will take another number, okay? I will look for the number of from 10 to 55. So let's start, 27. Oh. Yeah, you could come up if you dare to, or you could it's perfectly okay to sit down and just, you know. So what am I doing? What are you doing? You are thinking of one thing you really want to do or have in your life, and then telling what's stopping you from doing that today. If you think about the costs, yeah. why, why, do you, why don't you do it? Okay. Uh, well, I spoke to you about this earlier, actually, I just remembered. So maybe you were fishing for stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I would like to, as probably a lot of you also <laughs> probably can relate to, uh, not work in Sweden during this time. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, <laughs> not. <laughs> uh, I would probably like to go to some warm country in the winter. Okay. Yeah. What's stopping me? Work, I guess. I teach some lovely students that are sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think they're stopping me. But yeah. I... Uh, but I'm happy to be here with you. Too. Could you do it in another way? <coughs> mm, do like you have going? Any <laughs> yeah, you could go like for three weeks or something. Yeah, sure. You could cut them down the time. Yeah. Sometimes we paint the picture so big that we don't even start. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna think about this. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's take fourteen. Anyone have 14? Oh, brave. You don't have to go up here, I just say, if oh, you like. Yeah. Oh, so, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hi. Hello. So, what's on your mind? Uh, to do. To do or to, to, do. to buy? Oh, not buy. Uh, uh, I want to learn to climb better. Is it inside or is it outside? Uh, start inside. Start inside. Yes, exactly. Yeah, to get the green card to, mm, to yeah, climb. That too. Yeah, that too. Exactly. Just do it. What's stopping you? Uh, nothing, actually. It's, uh, I'm going to start doing it uh, when my other membership for another gym. 
Oh, and it's expired. You so go into to physics, I guess. Oh so yeah, you can, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> I still can do other stuff also. Okay. So I'm just waiting until the time uh, expires on that. Okay, so you're soon there. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Yep, yeah, that's uh, it. You you're free to go. <laughs> Uh, number 16? Yeah. Ah. No. <laughs> Hi. I'm here. Yeah? So what's, what do you want to do in life? I want to have more time for my friends. I have some things they do. I'm sure. I'm not one of them. Selling it. I want to sell it. I'm not one of them. What are you doing? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> this is one of my friends. So, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Mm. So what? What? Yeah. So what's stopping you from doing that? Was it the bakery? No. Uh -huh. No. You're going straight forward. Oh, good. Thank you. Twenty-one. Oh, hi. If you want to, I mean, you're so brave. I think it's very scary to stand here, but I have something to hold on to, so, yeah. <laughs> so what is the one thing that you want to do in life and or have, and what's stopping you? Well, right now, I really want to do more of uh, crazy handstands. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, other yeah. Similar shapes. Okay. <laughs> That's my uh, That's your goal? my big obsession. Ah. Yeah. And what's stopping me is uh, my brain needs a little more time to ah. to really figure it out. Oh, so you have to like um, go into practice to to get it, or is yeah. it the brain that says no? It can't be done. No, mm. it's, a, it's like you know. Eventually, the brain is like, okay, this crazy person just keeps doing uh, it. Just so just let her do it. Surrender. Yeah, yeah, let her do it. <laughs> yes. Okay, nice. But yeah. then you're soon there. Hmm? You're soon there, I guess. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. <gasps> you're just going to tell the brain that you're crazy, so we let's yes, go with it. Yes, yeah. yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm keeping a bit time. Time, yeah. How much time? <laughs> Two minutes, okay. We, we can take another one. 45. Yes. Hello. Hi. Uh, what I want to do in my life. Well, yeah. Okay, which ones? Uh, the Swiss might surprise you or guy, but Danish, oh. <laughs> American language, Dutch, and sign, sign language. Sign language, yeah. ah, interesting. And the things that are stopping me is usually the three uh, cost there, yeah. time and people. I don't have any people. A Danish I have a few friends, and the Dutch I have, mm -hmm. but I have no one who speaks the sign language. That's something that stops me. Yeah, so how, going you, how are you going to solve it? Okay. How are you going to solve it? Uh, Hello, I need someone to take the sign. Yeah? No, I mean with the signs. Yeah. Yeah? It, it, it's just the thing. I've been working with the deaf person, and the thing is that you really need to know what you're saying. And what I figured out was a kind of fun fact, I used to tell this, uh, is that we, I thought that but, um, sign language was one language, but it's different from each country as well. And I thought that was very <laughs> impressive that you have different language when you thought it was one. Thank you. <laughs> so, one more, or is the last? Yeah, we have to cut it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope. I'm just going to say this, I hope, thank you for listening, and let's go out there and dare to live our lives with a curious mind, because it follows anywhere, anyway, so why don't be the driver instead of being the passenger? Just go out, just do it. Thank you.